We're here at Sun and Fun and we've come back to look at the Murphy Radical. We saw it before, but it was sort of what we call bare bones then. Now it looks like it's almost ready for flying, or maybe it's flying. It I'm is Dan flying. Johnson. I'm talking with Tyler Penner, and you're saying it is now flying. It has flown, yes. Okay, now we've you, got you, about an you hour trailered and a half it on down it. here, I understand. Yes, we had to. We, yeah. had, we had to make that executive decision. It was either, okay, do we risk trying to get our C of A just in time and then fight the weather, or do we throw it in the trailer and guarantee that it's here for the complete show? Smart so move. So we, we made that move, Smart yes, move. right? That's you right. know, you're in uh, BC, British Columbia, Canada. That's right. That's Wet a rainy long coast. way down here to Florida, so there's a lot of weather in between. Yes. And, yes. And uh, you might have gotten delayed. I think you made the smart decision. But Thank you. now it's all it's all done. It's flying. So tell me a little bit about the history of going from Oshkosh last year, where it was bare bones, bicycles and all, mm -hmm. to flying, bicycles yeah. and all. It's been it's been a rocky road, but it's been a great road. Um, <laughs> we've got a lot of new technology into this aircraft that we're very very excited about. Um, with the Titan 370, the EFFI system, um, it operates almost like a car. You just jump in, you turn that key, push the start button, and away you go. You know this thing hates to be sitting on the ground. That's for sure. <laughs> um, our first test flight, we were running 2,300 RPM, and two guys inside, one notch of flaps, and three seconds, and she's off. Give me, give me some basic specs about the airplane just mm -hmm. to put the size into, sure. uh, into context for people. Sure. Yep. Uh, we have a 36-foot wingspan, 44-inch okay. wide cabin, and uh, it weighs 1,100 pounds, as, it, as you see it now, and with a 1,900-pound gross. You know. Okay, so wow, you got, uh, uh, if I can do the math here real quickly, it's 800 pounds of useful load. 800 then. pounds of and useful load. And how much load? fuel? 44 gallons. 44 gallons, 44 so gallons, you can yes. still carry how much after full, if you did full fuel, which you wouldn't have to do with that much fuel. But. Right. Um, you're still looking at around uh, five to 600 pounds or more. Wow. So a couple know. of big guys. A couple of big guys. And some stuff, because you got a lot of room in there. There's a lot of room in there, yes, yeah. yes. So, um, with the double floor all, all the way much. back, and, so, and the greatest thing about this is the side-by-side -side seating, right? You know, all metal, side-by-side -side seating, you know, very interactive with your co-pilot or your passenger. Yeah, yeah, excellent. And uh, the camper back, you know, you can sleep in it. You don't have to pack a tent with you. Is that right? That's it's right. big enough for a couple of people to sleep back got there? Plenty big enough they for a couple of people to sleep in. they got to be a little in. friendly, but... Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you know, we're 44 inches wide, right? Yeah, so not that friendly. All right, cool. Tell me a little bit more about the engine. We know Titan, yes. but mostly what we know in the LSA space is the Titan 340. Right. So what's the difference here? This is the Titan 370. Um, it's, a, it's a very modern engine, um, and that's why we chose it. We went with all the accumulation of 32 years of building all the other aircraft and all that knowledge we put into this. So we, had to, we couldn't go with an old style of engine. We had to go with the new, the latest, and the greatest, and that's why we came up with the Titan. Yeah, Titan you has know. been really winning the day. How much it power is. on this 370? This one here dynoed out at 209 horsepower. Wow, okay. 209. And yeah. obviously, therefore, the airframe is able to handle that much power. That's so right. That's an awesome amount of power. Yes, we spe Daryl specifically designed it to be able to handle that kind of power. Okay, excellent. Yes. What is there, Are there other engine choices for the airplane, there or are. is this going to be the one? You could go anywhere from the Rotax 915, oh, really? 135 okay. horse, all the way up to 220. 210, 220 horse. If somebody picked that uh, still to come, but getting close 915 from Rotax, mm -hmm. what kind of performance with it? You got a lot of power here. How well yes. would it perform with that, would you guess? I know you haven't done it yet because you don't have that engine yet. That's right, yeah. We, with the 915, we'll, it'll be a slightly lighter. Um, we'll go with a slightly oh, shorter true, wing, right. yep. and it, it'll perform almost just as good. Okay. Um, and at high altitudes, it'll perform just as well. Yeah, um, it's because turboed. that turbo, you're talking 135 or 140 horsepower all the way up to 15,000 feet. Okay, cool. So a range of engines available. Of course, all that suggests that this is a home-built aircraft. That's correct. That's yes? correct. Okay. Yes. Okay. But we also can do. We'll cater a program to the customer, right? We can supply a kit. We can supply a quick build, or we could even do complete turnkey. The way Daryl's designed it with all of our modern uh, machinery and CNC machines um, being pre-punched, pre-drilled, wherever we can, um, all you need is a flat level working space and a basic hand tool knowledge. Now, with this one, uh, as a kit no form... No jigs or anything? No jigs, no jigs. And how's we that We specifically possible? do that. Um, because everything is all pre-formed and pre-bent -pre and pre-drilled for you, um, just your flat level working space. And even on this one, we're changing how we are even building it the tail surfaces, the wings, we have full scale drawings. So you roll that 
drawing right out onto your table and lay every single part right on top. Oh, really? It'll be almost like building a, mo oh, a model, cool. a model airplane. Literally, um, take the part, put it on a piece of paper. The piece of paper and the part are the same size. That's correct. For the beginner builder, as from a kit form, you're going to be looking at anywhere from a thousand to twelve hundred hours, okay. depending on your skills. Not, not too bad. And if you go to with a quick build option, you're going to drop that by half. Oh, wow. Okay. With uh, with our whole buy to fly program, we will do whatever it takes to get you flying within <laughs> that year. Now, I want you to review a little bit of that 32 he year history because you folks have made a lot of airplanes over those years. Daryl's designed, I don't know how many airplanes, I lost count somewhere. But touch on a few of the main ones that people might recognize. Uh, the biggest one is obviously the Rebel. That's where we've sold the most of them. And, oh, the Renegade. The I'm Renegade sorry, is the, the Renegade is the, the Yes, right. which started the whole company. Um, and then we expanded to the Rebel and Daryl got help from Disc Dick Hiscox to help design that and other than that the the Moose is kind of and the Yukon are the big ones you know uh, yeah, the, the Moose they're, they're is big boy airplanes those that's are, right yeah. yeah the Moose is the largest kit plane um, that we know of and we're the only ones that produce it at 3,500 pound gross and uh, with the Radical here now with this aircraft, it's going to kind of surpass and, and hit that niche market where the people with the Rebels are wanting more power and more horsepower and more weight. That's where this one comes into play. Okay. Now, over the 32 years, we have sold over 2,000 aircraft in over 39 different countries worldwide. Wow, okay. That's and how right. many of those were Rebels, approximately? Approximately 1,200 of those were okay, Rebels. Okay, wow. So that's, that's definitely your big one. And give me some basic numbers on that so that we can compare that to the Radical. The Rebel, uh, your empty weight is anywhere from uh, 750 to 900 pounds, depending okay. on engine and options Very and LSA instruments. Very LSA-like in its Very numbers. Very LSA-like, yes. It's not an LSA, but it's It is a, not, no. Uh, it's a home build, but, but it's it will still be, similar. It will be in the future. We oh, are really? working towards getting the Renegade and the uh, Rebel into the LSA categories. Ah, is that right? You that's heard right. it here first, so that's cool. That's I'm right. glad I didn't even know about that. So that's some great news for mm -hmm. the folks that say, look, mm -hmm. I love it. I just I don't have the skills, or I just don't have the time. But I got a checkbook. <laughs> How can I get one quick? And you're going to answer that question with a fully built airplane, then. That's right. That's Excellent. Right. Good for you. We're we're at least a year or more away from being able to do that, but uh, the option is going to be there in the future. Well, yeah. meanwhile, they meanwhile. can get started on a radical win. If I said, Tyler, I got I got to have it. How soon can I get one? Uh, delivery is going to be in the first to second week of November. Okay. Is where we'll be delivering kits on the on the radical. Yes. Okay. So once you start, then let's say let's flash forward to the end of the year. Yep. It's Christmas time. The wife says I'm going to buy an airplane. Don't I wish? But anyway, <laughs> it'll be less than three months. Okay. Less About than three, three months, months for delivery. Wait, then. That's right. That's and right. And we will do everything in our power to. Um, under promise and over deliver. Well, I, I know that from the history. I've been up and visited the factory once. You have some very impressive machinery in there. We do, yes. Uh, we and are and one of the most you're extensive You're able to machinery. make these parts. That's correct. Not only for yourself, but you do parts for other people. That's right. Other That's companies, right. maybe. Yes. Give me, you know, I don't, we don't want specific prices because people might watch this thing five years from now. So, folks, check the website we're going to give you in a bit. But give me a basic number for what this might take to get in the air. A uh, complete turnkey or yeah. as the well, kit form? Well, no, the lowest price it could be if you're willing to do the work necessary. Uh, you, you could easily get this under $100,000 if okay. you're doing the work. For, for a, an airplane with a big engine on it and able to carry a lot of stuff. That's right. Cool. That's right. Um, that's the joys of our aircraft and how we've been able to create our manufacturing is to keep those costs down low in the manufacturing and be able to transfer that on to the customer. It helps to be able to do a lot of the work in-house, doesn't it? That's right. Yeah. We, ab about 95% of this aircraft is done in-house. Wow. Um, wow. Pretty much the only thing you that we do not do. You don't make your own tires, do, probably. But. We don't make our own <laughs> tires or nuts and bolts and rivets, but... Uh, every, just about everything else. Just about everything else. That's how about right. bicycles? Do you make bicycles? <laughs> <laughs> do you actually fly it with add-ons? We haven't well, yet, but we will be. One, but we will be, yes. Um, we're also <laughs> going to be offering uh, cargo pods and fuel pods with those. Ah, okay, um, okay. The only thing is, you have to be able, you have to fly both on on both sides. Yeah, yeah, you know? right, right. Um, Unless we, you want to turn we get, a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we get lots of uh, of questions, and we've heard it all. You know, it can't be done. It can be done. That's sure. the coolest thing I've seen. Um, That's the craziest you know, thing I've seen. I exactly, I'm and the whole experience. when people say it's it's a lot less drag than a set of floats. You know, and, and if you think about in Alaska, there's people tying washing machines and canoes to their bus <laughs> yes. out of their floats. You know, this is going to be a lot less drag than a set of floats. I guess so. It actually wouldn't be all that much. And great when you get there, because there's a lot of remote places where you might fly this airplane. Exactly. And a mountain bike like this would be a pretty handy thing, actually. It, that's right. That's right. And, 
you know, a lot of people already have their very expensive mountain bikes and then they get flying and then they have to buy a new bike just so they can pack it inside. <laughs> this way you don't have to do that. Beautiful, I like that. All right, so um, anything that I didn't ask you that people have been coming up here and asking you, because that's kind of our mission here is to come and say, look, if you didn't get to come to the show and you wanted to talk to Tyler, I'll ask the questions for you. Anything that I didn't cover that people have been saying, what about this or that? Um, the big thing is, people to learn about my history is Daryl is actually my uncle and oh is he oh I didn't know that okay. both my parents had very pivotal roles with Murphy for over 25 years Robin and Colleen Dyke um, oh yeah sure I know I know those folks so. Robin was the chief pilot and my mother was uh, the head of sales for over 25 years oh wow and uh, I'm the so next generation so you kind generation. of had to work here then uh, yeah it's been my <laughs> dream since a little a little kid is that you right? know I always said that one day I'm going to take over Murphy I'm glad and, you added uh, a personal touch and, to that that's fun and we're working towards that Daryl's starting to step back and just worry about designs and I've been doing the day-to-day -day business dealings and he's been doing it for 33 years and I'm going to take it for 33 years and beyond. All right, I love that attitude. Great stuff. All right, well, a lot of information you've given us. That's wonderful. People always have more questions. Where can we find you on the web? We'll put it up on the screen for folks. You can sure. find us on, on Facebook or you can find us on the web at uh, murphyair.com. Murphyair.com. Great stuff. You can find more about several of the Murphy airplanes over the years and all kinds of affordable aviation on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for talking to the soon-to-be leader of Murphy, Air, Murphy Aircraft, Tyler Penner and myself here at Sun and Fun. Thank you very much.